What's that, Mandy? You want to show off. Yeah, right. I want to show off. Come on. Okay, look, I'll introduce you. All right? Okay, you're the star of the show. So this is Mandy, everybody. I'm Gillian Cook. I come from Wanganui originally, but I've been living in Tauranga for about five years. Mandy, I'm well, not too sure. Maybe she's here longer than me because I found her in an op shop. But anyway, she's ended up being a star in my show, which is Mandy and the Moonballs. It's a lovely story about her and a cicada, magical cicada, who helps her become happy because she's very sad because she left part of herself behind in a place that she's just left. So her whole story is in this book. And you'll see by the illustrations that there's a cicada, there's a dog, who gets a little bit uh, in trouble because he sniffs a magic moon ball right up his nose. And Mandy goes for quite an adventure over a bridge and fall, falls off it too. But then, you know, she has a talk with the cicada and they do lots of things on the moon bridge. She meets the part of herself she left behind, which seems a bit strange. But people do that, especially when they get sad. And they want to keep memories nice and close. And so, you know, if you want to read more about Mandy and the whole story, you'll have to get Mum and Dad to come to my book launch on January the 9th at the library, 1 o'clock. So there's my little plug. But what I want to do is just show you and hope that you can be inspired how easy this is. But you've got to be interested in words and put them together. You don't have to necessarily because you might just go for the pictures so I'm going to show you the program that I used, which is called Canva. I'll just shrink this down a little bit. I'll bring up this, prog this program here. And you can see on the screen is the whole story. Not that one, because I just popped that in when I was playing around earlier. And this is the whole story. It took me a little while to make. I had to be patient to get it all finished, but... This one here, I was just playing with it earlier, thinking, oh, I could show you how it's easy just to select and delete, select and delete. And let's start again and create a page ourselves. So I'll go into my uploads, or shall I go into the elements? We'll go into the elements, which is free. There's free ones and there's ones that you can pay for. And we can go into, um, let's write in here, backgrounds. And, oh, that's pretty. Shall we just go for the first one and make it nice and big? And let's let's do that, eh? And then we'll go into, um, we'll put some sunglasses in there. Because we've got summer coming. We'll shift that up there. And let's see if we can find something else that looks really interesting. Here's a nice little object. And look, over here on the on the left side is the text. Let's write a heading. What shall we write? Um, we'll shift that if we can, if it'll let us. Or we could put the heading here. Let's highlight it and go, this is my story. And then we could um, write some more text. And what's a word that you heard today that, you thought, oh, that's an interesting story, interesting word. I wonder what that means. We could say um, a lifetime. What's your favourite character? Maybe you've got a Mandy at home. Maybe you've got a monkey or a um, an insect or um, a pet, like a little guinea pig or something like that. The lifetime of... Benjamin, Benjamin, and then you can go from there and this let your imagination go wild. So my tip to you is to not restrict yourself with your imagination and to look out and listen for words and go, oh, what can I build with that? And use words, use pictures, use Use your voice and just enjoy the words because they're so powerful that we can share with each other. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoy this month. Kiki day.